Hi, I'm Shashi. I want to share some physical practice with you to help you prepare your body for the upcoming course. As we're going to do yoga two times each day, and so it's good when you already build up a little fitness level. Just going to do some foundational poses together, and you can even split them up during that day. So you can do some in the evening, even when you're sitting in bed and reading. And some just jump out of the bed in the morning, roll out your mat, or just come on the ground on a little towel. And yeah, each pose, one minute, is already perfectly fine. But the limit is absolutely open to the top. And so I want to start with you with a pose which is called Supta Dandasana. Supta means on the ground, reclined, and dandasana is the limb, the stuff pose. And so I'm coming, sitting towards the front on my mat, and then I come lying down. And then root your sacrum and your hips strongly into the ground. Bring your shoulder blades comfortably, a little bit touching. And then raise up your legs and straighten them out to the sky. And so I form one straight line with my ankle and my legs above my hip. And my heels are pushing strongly up. And through this, I activate the muscles in my legs, all of them. And I learn to build up some strength in my legs. So I'm just pushing strongly my heels up into that sky. And for some extra, you can pull up your hands up to the sky, pushing the shoulders into the ground and the palms pulling up. And then take deep breath, smile and love that practice. And then relax and come down. Straighten out your body, release your hands to the side. You can do this in a few sets or you can just hold it longer and longer every day. The next practice I want to share with you is the plank on the forearm. And so, come turning around on the mat. So, for this pose we have to consider a few points. Mainly we come onto our forearm and my shoulder is above my elbow. So I'm coming onto my forearm and I'm stepping back and my shoulder is perfectly above my elbow. It's straightening out the fingers, the index finger are parallel. My heels are pushing straight back and I have a strong straight back. I'm not collapsing down. I keep it tight. I squeeze my buttocks, I engage my core and my heels are pushing back. And deep inhalations and exhalations through the abdomen and smile. And release and relax down. And come down, take a little break and repeat this pose for a few times. Then we're doing a little Shalabhasana, the locust pose. And for this, I keep my hands under my shoulders. I inhale, look forward. And exhale, lift up my hands and my feet. My whole body is engaged, my buttocks are squeezed, my hamstrings are engaged, my core is engaged, the muscles around my lower back, around the spine, and the muscles of my chest and the latissimus. And again, I smile. And release down. Take a break and continue with a couple of sets of this practice. Then straighten out and we come back sitting. From here I straighten out my legs to the front and come into Dandasana to continue strengthening my back a lot. And this is the same pose as we did in the first time. We were lying and straightening out the legs, but this time sitting. And so I come sitting down 
placing my hands next to my hip and flexing the feet strongly. The toes are all the way long, gazing towards me. And my body is straight. My shoulders are up and back. And I breathe. Straight back, straight feet, straight legs. Toes pointing towards your chest. And once you're finished, you inhale. And exhale, release. And bring your feet together at the butterfly pose. And so I'm having my feet together. I inhale and exhale, come forward. Whenever I inhale, I straighten my spine and exhale, I come forward. And every inhalation, I elongate my spine and exhale. I suck my belly in and lean further down. You can even do this pose in bed, putting a pillow over your feet and resting on it. Or you hold your book and read. It's a very wonderful pose to do in the evening. And with every inhalation, we straighten our spine more and more. And exhale, we lean further down. come out, gently put your hands next to your feet and walk yourself up and exhale. At last, straighten out your legs, Paschimottanasana. Asana means pose and Paschimottanasana is the seated forward fold. So I'm st sitting here, my hands are next to my hips and my feet again are flexing strongly towards me. And in inhale, elongate my spine and exhale. Lean forward and walk forward. Inhale, straighten your spine and exhale. Reach out for your calves, for your ankle, for your feet. And lean down. Keep your back straight. Inhale, straighten the spine and exhale. Leaning forward by sucking the belly in and the back remains straight. You can hold my toe, you can place my hands from top around my feet, grab my ankle or my calf, however you feel comfortable with this. The main part of this asana is stretching out the lower back. And make back remain straight, inhale, straight in the spine and exhale, pulling your lower back long, pushing back the sacrum and extending the lower back more and more. And inhale and exhale gently climb back walk back and you can come back and support yourself a little bit that's it for our practice enjoy just do it a couple of times whenever you feel like you can split it up some in the evening some in the morning and really make sure you take care of your body make sure Whenever you feel any discomfort, come out of the pose and learn to listen to your body. Thank you. Namaste.